So are you going to be uh, this year's special teams, Jack Coletto? <laughs> you know, I'm going to try to do my best, you know, um, you know taking over from Tyjon and um, Jack and all those guys just try to do my part and you know, help this team win, get some wins this year. You've, you've kind of developed a niche on this team as a special teams mm -hmm. you know, ex expert of yeah. sorts, I guess. What, what do you feel like goes into that to, to make you pretty significant on all yeah. you're on all four teams right? mm -hmm. yeah. yeah you know it's just our preparation with with coach cookies you know we really take it you know a big big deal in our room you know every guy you know takes that next edge in special teams and you know we really own in our details you know for me it's like i got a block punt during covid year and then after that you know, i was all in on special teams you know because we don't really have that six five wide receiver in the room so we all kind of you know, just, you know that gritty that gritty dirty receiver that you know likes to do the dirty work so you, you play some gunner um What's it take to succeed at that position? <laughs> you, know, you just got to be fast, honestly, and you know work your releases. You know everyone likes to press, so you know if you can get off of a double, you can get off press release. You know you're gonna be a pretty good missile in this league. So that's what I've tried to do the past couple of years. What was that like two years ago when you were you you, you landed on the all conference team and special teams? What did that do for you? Yeah, you know, like you said, you know, just kind of you know push the momentum forward and, and special teams for my team and you know me individually you know just knowing that we have something special here in special teams and you know it can affect the game like coach cook says it's every every five plays or so is a special teams play so just what i can do to affect this team and in a positive way that's what i'm trying to do here how how, how do you feel like you can be a little bit more significant as a receiver this season yeah you know just like i said honing in my role working on my craft here with you know all these quarterbacks here um you know, just the extra time we put in in the summer, I think, is really going to highlight in, in the fall and these coming weeks is just, you know, the detail that we put in our routes and, you know, me, Ant, Silas, and, you know, the, all the other receivers are just putting on our craft, honestly. And, you know, this is a big year for all of us. Right. How does special teams kind of help you out, though, on the wide receiver position? You talk about you guys are dealing with descenders, you're dealing with more coverage. So how does, how does you know, getting down the field as quickly as you can kind of help you both on the receiver end as well? Yeah, like, like for Ant and, and for me specifically, because we both play special teams pretty frequently, you know. Um, you know, if we can do that at a high level, I feel like, you know, it just goes into receiver. Like, you know, we do our drills, release drills, you know, Ant's taken off at punt, you know, full speed. And, you know, we're working on our blocking. So, you know, everything just helped the team. You know, I think that's that's what we're trying to get to at the end of the day. Do you have more of a passion for one specific position or another? Do you love special teams more? Do you like wide receiver? Do you just like doing uh, yeah. it all, honestly, honestly, at this point? I just like playing football. Like, you know, I tried defense a couple of years ago just because, you know, I wanted to get on the field more. So. You know, I honestly just love football, and you know, any way I can get out there, I'm gonna do it. You played in 44 games, started three. How do you want to finish your career? This will yeah. be this will be the end. Yeah, you know, leave it all out there. You know, I'm gonna try to start every game this year, and you know, leave it all out there. You know, like like Coach Cook says, you know, you don't know when the last play is gonna be your last. So, you know, just going out there and you know, giving everything I have, and you know, living this year to the fullest, and hopefully we turn out to a Pac-12 championship at the end of the year. We hear so much about DJ's arm. I mean, he was literally drafted in the MLB. Yeah. What does it feel like to catch a DJU yeah. pass? Yeah, I know. Uh, the first week he got here, you know, all the receivers were like, damn, my hands, man, like everything. But, you know, we're getting that rhythm and, and flow, and, you know, he can sling it. So I'm pretty excited for the deep balls and, you know, the deep postures this year. It's going to be fun. How has your guys' relationship grown with him over these last couple of months, whether it is that route running, whether it is just that conversation in the locker room, talking with them, yeah. schematics and stuff? How has that kind of grown? Good, yeah, we actually have one of our uh, the guys, uh, one of the donors out here, Sean. Um, he owns the golf course, and you know, probably three times, four times a week, we get out and try to go golfing, me, Ant, and DJ, and you know, try to build that camaraderie over the summer. And, you know, really hone in our craft and just you know, build a friendship so we can trust each other out on that field. How can hit a nice swing, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. He can hit it a mile, you know, so it's fun. It's fun to get out there. Who's usually the one that wins, though? You know, we, it's a toss-up. You know, I got I got good short games. So, and DJ can drive the ball, so I know it's a toss-up here and there. But, you know, it's fun. It's a fun little competition in the summer. All right. Okay. Thanks, Jack. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks.